y'all I am back sharing with you how I created this little mini album using the mini cinch. If you follow me on Instagram you already saw a reel of this video and I did say on there that I would share a longer version so that you can see kind of a slower um, process uh, step by step. So we're going to start with the front covers. I have two car or cardboard chipboard pieces that I believe they measure about four and three quarters by seven. Um, and the reason I chose that size is because there is, I think my largest uh, piece that is going inside of this journal is like slightly under that. So I chose that size for the covers just so that everything could fit nicely inside. That doesn't mean that every single piece that's going to fit inside the album is that size. They're all, it's a pretty interactive album and it's um, got different elements in it and we'll, I'll share that with you here in just a bit. So all I did was add some adhesive to one side of the chipboard and I'm just placing it on top of the paper. By the way, this paper is the new collection by Retro Hit Company, and I'll link that down below. But basically it's her patterns that she uh, came out with in September for her magazine release. And so I'm always so in love with the papers and her, um, not only her papers, but also her printables and the little four by uh, three cards as well. So now I'm just going to do the same thing with the other side. And all you see saw me do right before um, I added adhesive to the second one was just fold up the edges. And I just used my bone folder to kind of help make a crease. But it, you know, you can still fold them up. This I actually printed this uh, paper, this pattern paper, double-sided from my own printer. And because it's you can get the paper in digital form, which is what I do. And I printed it on some pretty... Um, like lightweight paper, I guess. And so it was pretty easy to fold. So now I'm just cutting off the corners and there are a lot of people that have tools for this and get it a lot more precise than I do. But I, I really honestly am not a perfectionist when it comes to scrapbooking. And so I just cut off the corners, like make a triangle, and then I just fold them in. And I'm going to use some pattern paper to cover that other side anyway. So you're really not going to see any of the chipboard. So now that I have my front and back cover ready, well, I say ready to go, almost ready to go, I am going to go ahead and cut the inside uh, pieces for each of the back and the front and back cover. So I just chose a pretty subtle design. And the reason I chose this design, one, because I like it, this is one of uh, Retro Hip Company's um, patterns as well. I chose it because the direction of it is pretty easy to use. So if I screw up on like the cover, or the back cover, the back cover, the front or the back, I, um, are, I'm not too worried about the direction that it's going. And so I, I am just checking to make sure the line of the front is going in this, the right direction. So I'm using ledger paper and I just want to be sure that the line is going to be lined up with the back line, if that makes sense, um, of the ledger paper. So I have my two covers ready to go and then now I'm going to grab my cinch. All I'm going to do is center it as best as I can. I'm actually not going to go use, I'm not going to do binding the whole way across. There's a couple of reasons for that. And just real quick, I just used the front cover just to like try to get it as um, precise as possible to get the holes to kind of match up. But as you can see, I really didn't measure a whole lot. I just stuck it in there, tried to center it the best I could. And then I used my front, my front cover as a guide for my back cover. Now I'm just going to go ahead and cinch or punch holes in every single piece that I have. And pretty much everything I have fits underneath um, this cinch. So I had the original cinch a long time ago and um, I got rid of it actually because I didn't use it very much. This was like probably 10 years ago that I had it before kids and everything. And everything is like either before or after kids. Um, my time, the way that my brain works. But anyway, so this is so much more usable in my opinion, this mini cinch, just because you can still make bigger albums. A lot of people aren't sure about that, but you can still make bigger albums. You just have to add punches like the whole way across. And, but I just, I love it for so many reasons. I think I probably would make more 
I would make probably smaller albums over making bigger albums at this point. So the reason I'm not punching holes all the way across is because sometimes it's just easier for me to just use less wire because you get more out of your wire and your your book is bound perfectly fine. Um, but also because I have like some smaller elements in there and I just wanted to make sure that extra holes, I didn't want to like do the math to try to figure out all the measurements and get the holes just perfectly right. So once you, if you use something and you just measure just in the middle, then you don't, it takes kind of the guessing, not the guessing, you're always guessing, but it kind of takes like the measuring out of the process. Okay. So now that I have everything punched, I basically just counted six wires because I know that there's six holes and I place them on the cinch and there are different fit tutorials for this, but basically I just placed kind of the uh, larger part of the wire on the cinch and you'll know how it goes because you'll realize it doesn't fit if you do it the wrong way. And I actually placed, I'm, I'm working from the back. So I put the front cover down um, the way that it's supposed to and then I flip the back cover like basically inside out and I'm working from the back to the front. And the reason I'm doing that is because once I cinch it all together um, or bind it, the inside of the binding will actually have the where it comes together. I don't know if that makes sense. I hope it does. But uh, you'll also see that I make a mistake too. And I left it in here just so I can show how to fix it or how to know that it's probably just a quick, simple mistake. Um, or a fixable mistake. So I'm just like alternating papers. Um, some of the papers that I'm using, I thought it'd be really fun to make a, a little inspirational journal. And I add, I, I have these little, um, it's kind of like tear out inserts for your Bible. I'm not really sure what they're called, but I'll try to find them and link them. I got them from Hobby Lobby, but they're, those are the pink pieces that you're seeing. And they have a Bible verse on each one and then kind of a little, uh, summary or inspirational quote and then the rest are just little pieces for my stash I use four by three cards I use four by six cards so now I'm just gonna cinch it all together and I did turn it upside down I find that it works way better for me to do the larger um like u shape on the top uh some people do it the other way but I found that it was it's much easier for me and I get a better cinch that way and so now when I open this up I realize it's it's on the opposite side, so I turn it over, and I didn't cinch it enough. So I'm just going to take it right back to the cinch. I'm going to place it right under there. I'm going to press it down just a little bit harder, and then you'll see that that worked a lot better. I think I do end up going back later on outside of this video and cinching it like one more time just to make sure I have it, just to make sure those two pieces come together a little bit closer, but um, overall it worked out just fine. And you'll see that... You can't see the the two pieces that like where the wiring or the binding comes together or it meets you don't see that on the outside you only see it on the inside that way you get kind of a nice um, binding on the outside if that makes sense so I'm just doing a flip through I used everything from envelopes that I've had in my stash for a long time to cards that I've had in my stash I did try to try to make sure like the colors coordinated a little bit but I didn't pay a ton of attention to that I also used I even used um not sticky note but something kind of similar like a little pad that a memo pad I tore up some of those as well just because it was super cute so just find whatever you have in your stash you can create these I got this mini cinch at Joann's and I'm absolutely loving it I will talk to you guys very soon I hope you enjoyed this see you soon bye